In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a sharing feature by bringing devices together on the iPhone 16 series. First, let's go back to the home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. And from the home screen, tap on settings. Next, we tap on general, then scroll down and tap on airdrop. Before we can use this feature, we need to turn it on. So go to the start sharing by section and tap on bringing devices together. Tap on the toggle button to switch it on. After that, we tap on the back key or swipe up to go back to the home screen. Now from the home screen, open up the app that you want to share. So let's say I want to share some photos. I'm going to go to my library and I will tap on the select button. Here, I will select a few photos that I want to share. Then tap on the share button. After that, make sure the other device also have AirDrop uh, turned on. So in settings, general AirDrop, make sure it is turned on and allow receiving files. In here, we're going to bring the devices together like that. And you can see there is a small flash. Inside AirDrop and the phone is now receiving files. So that's it. So that is how you can share uh, files. If you want to share contacts, for example, we can open up the phone application, select contacts. And here I will select um, Steve Cash, for example. Steve Cash, and then I will share. So let's try to see if we share it now like this. So when we tap together like that, it will share files. So here, let's see what is it connected. So it is now sharing my contact de detail. So I want to share Steve Cash. So what I'll do is I scroll down and I'll tap on share contact. So we share all this information. Now I'll bring the devices together. Done. Maybe there are some bug over here. I can't seem to close it. Okay. So I'll Bring the devices together. Now this uh, should work. Sometimes uh, the phone have uh, bugs or issues that cause it not to, to work well. So let's see if I can close all the apps. Make sure it's all closed and I'll try it again. So it's still not sharing. So as you can see, uh, sometimes it doesn't always work as uh, intended. So I'll bring the device together. I'll go in here and make sure sharing is turned on. If it hasn't turned off yet. So, yep. It is still set to everyone for 10 minutes. So, um, good. I can share it. So I might, when that doesn't work, you might need to restart your device. Okay, so I have just uh, restart the phone. Let me try it again. So it flashes. But uh, nothing happens. So we're going to contacts. Still nothing in here. Okay, now after that, it stopped working. So let's try it again from here. Share info. Let's try it again. All right, it flashes and then some bug or some issues. It's just not uh, simply want uh, share. So I guess this is one of the feature uh, might not work as well as it should. Uh, in which case you can always tap on airdrop when that does it doesn't work and here you probably go and check in settings as well sometimes it's get to uh, turn off airdrop automatically so i choose everyone for 10 minutes and then i'll tap on done to on airdrop so I'll share contact and to on done so here it is uh, connecting So when it's connecting, it keeps sharing my contact instead of the selected contacts that I wanted to share. And here, I will use AirDrop instead and see if this method works. You can see here, it is a bug. When I tap on done, it's not closing. So I have to tap on message and kind of like uh, close it. Okay, so share, I'll put it together. 
there definitely is a, a bug uh, with sharing uh, contact right there. But that is how you can share using AirDrop. Uh, hopefully they fix it in the future uh, with this uh, issue. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.